Welcome to another lecture by Medico Medics, Genetics Chapter 6, Genetic Mutations and Disorders. In this lecture, we will give you an overview of genetic mutations, causes of these, types of genetic mutations. Further on, we will talk about chromosomal mutations, genetic disorders, multifactorial disorders, diagnosing and treating these genetic disorders, and end with a summary. Now, what is a mutation? A mutation is a change in the DNA sequence. And there are different types of these. We have harmless mutations, so neutral or silent mutations. We have harmful mutations. These cause genetic disorders or diseases. We even have beneficial mutations. These contribute to, for example, evolution, like resistance to malaria. So mutations are changes in your DNA. Some don't matter, some cause problems, and some can even be helpful. Now, what are some causes of these mutations? We have spontaneous mutations, so errors during DNA replication. We have natural chemical changes, like deamination. We have induced mutations caused by, for example, radiation, like UV rays or X-rays. It can be caused by chemicals like tobacco smoke or benzene, viruses like HPV causing genetic damage. For example, UV radiation from sunlight can cause mutations leading to skin cancer. Now let's talk about different types of genetic mutations, starting with point mutations. Now point mutations occur when a single nucleotide in DNA is altered potentially affecting protein function. These mutations can be classified into three main types. We have silent mutation. So it's a change in a nucleotide that does not alter the amino acid sequence due to the redundancy of the genetic code. These mutations usually have no effect on protein function. Then we have missense mutations. So a single nucleotide change results in a different amino acid being incorporated into a protein. So a single nucleotide change results in a different amino acid being incorporated into a protein. So this can affect protein structure and function, sometimes leading to diseases. An example is sickle cell anemia, caused by a mutation in the hemoglobin gene where glutamic acid is replaced by valine, leading to misshapen red blood cells. Then we have nonsense mutations. So a single nucleo, uh, nucleotide, nucleotide change creates a premature stop codon. So a single nucleotide change creates a premature stop codon, leading to an incomplete and usually non-functional protein. And this can cause severe genetic disorders. Example, again, sickle cell anemia caused by single base change in the hemoglobin gene. Now moving on to a different type of genetic mutation called frame shift mutations. Now these frame shift mutations occur when nucleotides are inserted or deleted from the DNA sequence, altering the reading frame of the genetic code. Since the genetic code is read in triplets, in codons, this shift changes the entire sequence downstream, often leading to a completely different or non-functional protein. So, an example is Tay-Sachs disease, or Tay-Sachs disease. I'm not sure about the pronunciation here. It is caused by a frame shift mutation in the hexagene leading okay this leads to a dysfunctional enzyme that results in the accumulation of harmful substances in the brain causing neurodegeneration and frame shift mutations overall tend to have more severe consequences than point mutations due to their widespread impact on protein function 
Moving on to chromosomal mutations. So chromosomal mutations are structural changes in the chromosomes that can affect an organism's genetic information. These mutations can result from errors during cell division, such as meiosis or mitosis, and can have significant effects on an individual's health and development. Example could be deletion. So a portion of the chromosome is missing or is lost, leading to absence of genetic material. An example is cri du chat syndrome, caused by a deletion on chromosome number 5, and it leads to intellectual disability and a distinctive high-pitched cry in infants. Then we have duplication where a segment of the chromosome is duplicated, leading to extra copies of genes. An example is Charcot-Marie tooth disease, often caused by a duplication on chromosome number 17, leading to progressive nerve damage. We have inversion, where a chromosome segment is reversed end-to-end, -end. and since no genetic material is gained or lost, Inversions may not always cause noticeable effects, but can disrupt gene function in some cases. And also then we have translocation. So this is where a segment of one chromosome is transferred to another non-homologous chromosome. This can be balanced with no genetic material lost or unbalanced with extra or missing genes. An example is chronic myeloid leukemia, caused by a specific translocation between chromosomes 9 and 22, forming the so-called Philadelphia chromosome, which leads to uncontrolled cell growth. Now, these mutations can have varying impacts from minor effects to severe genetic disorders. Some mutations may be inherited, while others occur spontaneously due to environmental factors such as radiation or chemical exposure. Now let's briefly mention some single gene disorders. So these are disorders caused by mutations in a single gene. Examples include cystic fibrosis caused by mutations in CFTR gene. Huntington's disease, where a mutation has occurred with repeated DNA sequences and sickle cell anemia, a single point mutation in the hemoglobin gene. Chromosomal disorders, these are disorders caused by chromosomal abnormalities, including, for example, Down syndrome, also known as trisomy 21. Essentially, there is an extra chromosome copy of chromosome 21, and this leads to intellectual disability, very distinct facial features, and an increased risk of heart defects. We also have Turner syndrome, also known as monosomy X, where an X chromosome is missing, or we only have one X chromosome, and this only affects females. It's also written out as 45X or XO. And this leads to the typical presentation is short stature, delayed puberty, and infertility. And another one worthy of mentioning is Klinefelter syndrome, where you have an extra X chromosome in males. So this one only affects males, and you have an additional X chromosome, and this is written out as 47 X. X, Y. And you know that we have a total of 46 chromosomes normally, two pairs of 23s. So here we have an extra one, and here we have 45. So one is missing. What is missing? An X chromosome. And this only affects females, so this one only affects males. And Down syndrome, where you have an extra copy of chromosome 21, affects both genders. And Klinefelter syndrome leads to um, taller stature, reduced testosterone, and potential 
fertility issues. Multifactorial disorders. So these are disorders caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors, like heart disease, influenced by genetics, diet, lifestyle. Diabetes, for example, genetic predisposition with lifestyle triggers. And we have cancer, so genetic mutations, plus environmental factors like smoking. Now let's discuss some inheritance patterns of genetic disorders. So we have autosomal dominant, where a single mutated gene from one parent is enough to cause the disorder. For example, we have Huntington's disease here. So infect affected individuals have a 50% chance of passing it to their children. So only one copy of the mutated gene is needed. Then we have autosomal recessive, where both copies, so two copies of the gene, must be mutated uh, for the disorder to manifest, for example, in cystic fibrosis. And carriers, so one mutated copy, are typically unaffected but can pass the mutation to the offspring. Then we have X-linked. These are caused by mutations on the X chromosome. These disorders often affect males more severely as they have only one X chromosome. So, for example, hemophilia. And females will may be carriers with mild or no symptoms. So example, if, a ch if one parent carries a dominant mutation, each child has a 50% chance of inheriting it, while recessive conditions require both parents to be carriers for a child to be affected. Now, how do we go about diagnosing genetic disorders? So we have different methods like genetic testing, identifying mutations like the BRCA1 gene for breast cancer, we have karyotyping, where we're visualizing chromosomes to detect abnormalities. We have newborn screening, so we test for common genetic conditions at birth. And early detection enables treatment or management. And briefly on treating these genetic disorders. So if it's symptomatic, we have symptomatic management like medications, physical therapy, or dietary adjustments. If it's gene therapy, we are fixing faulty genes or adding healthy ones. Advances are currently in CRISPR technology, so genome editing to treat genetic diseases. For example, gene therapy has been used to treat spinal muscular atrophy by replacing the faulty gene. So in summary then, mutations can be spontaneous or caused by external factors. Types of mutations include point mutations, frame shifts, and chromosomal abnormalities. Genetic disorders can be single gene, chromosomal, or multifactorial. And advances in genetic testing and therapy are transforming medicine. That's the end of Chapter 6. Continue now to Chapter 7. Thank you for listening.